Seeing that it's finally available, we're just going to quickly show you the BlackBerry Bridge feature with the Playbook and how it uses uh, your BlackBerry smartphone to get additional functionality. So first of all, the setup is pretty simple. All you got to do is just go to the options. From here, you got to set it up, pair up the two devices, and once that's done, you'll see actually a new category placed in the app panel here. You'll notice it's uh, added as the BlackBerry Bridge, so you know that uh, it's connected. On top of that, in, in the top tray, here you can see that it's connected to our BlackBerry Bold 9650 and it's a Verizon's version. Also, you have the notification on top here to show you any new messages that you might have. So we'll quickly just show you some of the new applications that pop up with it. Um, basically, it syncs up to whatever is uh, stored with your BlackBerry device. So if you add a contact, it'll be saved on both and vice versa. So let's quickly jump into it. So start off with the messages, messages portion, which basically your email client here. Now it takes advantage of the tablet space. You can tell it utilizes a traditional two panel layout. On the left side you have your pan, your, your inbox, and the right side shows you the content here. You could also set to different emails. So if you have multiple email, uh, email clients on your Blackberry smartphone, you could choose, choose between any of them. Usual stuff, you could compose, you could reply. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. You could even attach a, a, a something with it, a picture, picture, video, music, and documents that are stored either on the playbook or on the BlackBerry smartphone that you have it connected to. So uh, it's it's ba it's pretty much your typical experience, honestly. So the second one here will show you the contacts. Very straightforward in its approach. Again, you see the two panel layout. Left side is your scrollable listing for all your contacts, and the right side shows you all the pertinent con uh, in information with it. You could add a new one if you wanted to, and just fill it in. And again, it'll sync up uh, together on both devices. And the next one is the bridge browser that we already have loaded up here. So let's quickly load it. Now it's, it's, the playbook is connected via Bluetooth to the BlackBerry smartphone. So load times could be a little bit longer than Wi-Fi, but it's your normal experience with the web browser. Nothing really different with it. The calendar's up next. You have different views. You have the uh, full month. You have the weekly and also the uh, daily view. You could add a new appointment. And again, it backs it up on both devices. And the next one will show you just a memo pad that it has here. Again, takes advantage of the two panel layout. You'll see your messages up here. You could make a, you could compose a new memo if you want. Just type it up and it'll save it from like that. And you have a task manager here. So basically, if you want to add a new task, you'll save it. Nothing really too different uh, from what you see out there. Let's just close out a couple of the applications here. And then just load that up again. And there it is, uh, nothing really fancy about it. Again, it's very, very plain to tell you the truth. And the last one that we ha will show you is just the bridge files, which basically a file manager. You could explore either content stored on the playbook or even on the uh, BlackBerry device that's connected to. Again, it's better, it's kind of just a... Uh, Almost uh, irritating just because uh, you need a BlackBerry device to get this functionality instead of seeing a dedicated client uh, built into the platform itself. And it kind of reduces the functionality, especially especially if you don't own a BlackBerry smartphone. But if you do, you'll get treated to these additional features. So if you want to check out more about it, you could read it on our website, phonearena.com.